All right, dear Matsons, I've been divorced from my children's father for several years and recently started dating again. I've been dating a very nice man for several months now. Do you have any advice on the best way to introduce him? Sincerely, divorced and dating. Yeah, I mean, my first thought is just take that slow, take that slow. And uh, there's different pacing um, for each of your kids in a sense in terms of how they're feeling about it, even though it's been years since you split up, uh, been divorced, um, they need to have this, this is be a whole new change for them. So take it slow. Take it slow. So have conversations with your kids before you introduce. How are you feeling about mom dating? Um, Do you have any questions? What do you hope about this guy that I date? What do you hope he's not? Hear their concerns and let them talk. I think the more you engage them in the conversation, the more that you'll know what the pace you need to take. Um, If they're feeling more anxious or if they're like, bring it on. And then in terms of introduction, I think one of the other things we would just say is be careful not to infuse your lives together too quickly because the breakup, if there is one, I'm sorry, I'm already thinking that way because you're really excited about this person. But if that's going to happen, um, dating is a part of deciding whether you guys like each other long term. And so try not to invite your kids too much into infusing your life. So if it might be a dinner here, uh, maybe you guys go out for an outing, maybe not at the house initially, let your kids get to know him, but take it slow until you know that this person is someone who's going to be, you're engaged to and going to marry again, Mm -hmm. then start introducing more and more. But when you're dating, take your time. There's no hurry and listen to your kids. Yeah. The wisdom behind that is that the kids are attaching. And, uh, and you want to protect them from attaching and then having to un- untangle an- another situation, right? So that mm-hmm, would be the heartbeat mm-hmm. behind that. Yeah. Yeah. And I think it also it's just um, remember that while you're dating this person that mm-hmm. you're not married yet. And so your kids still need to take the priority. Now, of course, if, mm-hmm. if you marry, then it's healthy for you to put him above them, if you will, in the right order. Um, and even then, it's just talking about that juggle. process and yeah. adjusting to that. And kids um, kids understand that that's how that should be. But you're hopefully laying a groundwork. You're walking with them. You're turning towards towards them and helping them to make this transition with you. You, know, you get kind of caught up to where maybe you are um, yeah. from behind the scenes. Yeah, and honestly, if, a, if one of your kids is not interested in getting to know that person, then honor that. Don't force it. Because yeah. for the long run, yeah. if you honor their pacing, then actually it's going to work out better in the long run for your dating and potentially marriage relationship. Um, but it is, it's is—it's a hard thing. There's no right or wrong. Um, and if you are prioritizing your kids and getting to know them and listening to where they're at and not over-prioritizing the dating, I think you're doing a good job. So we are definitely um, holding this with you yeah. and know that you are the right mom for the job. And uh, we're here cheering you on.